bird's eye view. Of course, I love commentating. I I love. I break down. I I don't think they would like me though because I'm be really honest. I uh, break it down <laughs> just honest. You know, I'm not trying to tear nobody down, but hey, I know some boxing. Uh huh. All right, we got our next B man. We got Terrence Bailey, man. Terrence Bailey beaming in. What's up, TB? What you got? Hey, man. I, how's everybody doing? What's up, DB? How you doing, champ? Hey, how you doing, bro? How you doing? Man, um, man, champ, I, I used to watch you, man, as a, as a teenager on USA Fights, everything, man. I used to um, used to watch that flick jab you would throw, man. You had that, that flick jab, and you kept getting worn by the ref. For, for for hitting with the back of the hand, and I used to watch your wife yell at you from the front row. Stop playing! <laughs> Stop playing around! You know, um, I think right now I was I was listening to you, you know, uh, from from the chat, and uh, if you were if you were in your prime right now, two thousand twenty one, I think a great fight would be you and Usyk. Yeah. Alexander Usyk. I think that would that would be a great fight. Yeah. It'd be, it be good in my prime. Yeah, it'd be a good fight. Be, Olympic gold medals are heavyweight. But the thing is, he left handed. Hey, I'm trying to shut him down. He's small. And, and I felt even with Deontay Wilder, he's under 220. I felt I'm the best under 220 heavyweight. You're not gonna beat me. Under 220, I just feel like when, when I'm on, on top of my game, Usyk is a good fight, but I'm gonna shut him down. I'm trying to shut him down. I'm trying to shut him down, brother. <laughs> hey, hey, I tell you something else too. Uh, uh, the fight uh, between you and Holyfield, that fight was <laughs> man. That fight actually had me laughing while I was watching it because because what you was doing to him, and then when and then when Holyfield, I guess he, I guess he got mad. And he threw he threw a hard hook, and you dodged it, and he said, "Woo!" <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "Oh, he's alive!" <laughs> <laughs> and he, you know, said so you came back and pieced him up. I mean, that I mean, you made a lot of uh, what was supposed to be grade A fighters look ordinary. And I don't think I ever seen you in a fight where. Uh, if you lost the fight, it was it was it kind of looked like because you got bored. It wasn't because you were um, just being dominated. It was more like you got bored and kind of like lost focus because you because you just you just on a certain level and you kind of got bored. Yeah, I, I actually I was sick. Okay. When I when I fought Jimmy Thunder on HBO, my first HBO fight, I got rushed to the hospital. During the main event was uh Tim Witherspoon, Larry Donald. I was getting rushed to the hospital. I was gonna do an unair interview. Um, the only time they would do an unair interview when a main event, and I was a co-main event. I'm talking. They want to do an unair interview. They rushed me to the hospital. And nobody asked after that, why'd you go to the hospital? I had problems with my body for, I mean, I would fall out after almost every fight. In the locker room, it was bad. I, the food was killing my body. I, I had extreme fatigue, uh, um, dizziness. I had all kinds of problems. Hides everywhere. I had all kind of problems, and then my performance just started going down more and more each fight because I would be so tired. Nobody knew about it until I moved to Las Vegas. I went to a homeopathic doctor, and man, he said you're allergic to everything. TBS. I knew something was wrong, man, because my body was 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 just betraying me. And my performance was just falling off. I was Chris Burr, you're black and you're, we can't hear you. Yeah. Can't hear you. D 
TV, I think that's on oh, that's TV's phone, the back feed. Yeah, you gotta yeah, mute. Yeah. No, that's my that's my me. Okay, got gotcha. you. Champ, say something, champ. Yeah, you're low now. We can't hear you. You're so low. Oh, wow. Oh, now you go. You were blocking the mic the way you was holding oh. your phone. Yeah, that's what oh, it was. Oh, my bad. My bad. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm blocking the mic. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking. Nobody <laughs> listening to me. All you can see is my mouth moving. <laughs> Anything else, TV? Uh, yeah, I wanted, I wanted to... Um, damn, I, I wanted to hear what he was saying. He blocked everything he was saying. Yeah, I, basically, my when I put on fifty pounds to go to heavyweight, it ruined my body. My I'm so sensitive to food; it, it just destroyed me. So my performance, man, from my first HBO fight, I fight my second HBO fight. I had no energy when I fought Alicia Castillo. I mean, I was dead. Went to the hospital again after that fight. I was gone. Fought Maurice Harris hospital again all these fights i'm going to the hospital afterwards i didn't know what was wrong until i moved to vegas went to a homeopathic doctor and he straightened me out big time i mean big time but i would eat bad because i had to keep weight on until training camp and i would train for five weeks for a fight and that's the only time i get healthy and then right after the fight i got to eat back bad to keep the weight up and then back training camp, my way to go back down. I got you. Because I'm eating healthy. I mean, it was just crazy. And But it destroyed my body. I, I had a hip replacement because of the food. Wow. I needed both what? my shoulders replaced because of the food. I healed my body. I healed my one hip. I was going to get it replaced. And then my shoulders, I was going to get replaced. But I healed those three. But the, the one hip, I didn't get replaced. I did get replaced. So I was all messed up, man. Okay, well, um... <clears throat> I want to I want to jump off, but there's one thing I want to say, and there's a question, I, and I'll get the question in the chat. Um, I started off watching boxing by watching you. It was it was you, Roy Jones, mm. Obacar, oh. uh, uh, Teddy uh, 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 Teddy Reed. Okay. Um, Teddy uh, Reed. Yeah. Uh, matter of fact, I met Teddy Reed, um, which was supposed to be linking up. Well, I met him years ago. Which was supposed to be linking up again. Um, that who else was it? It was all it was, it was that whole class, that, that whole class, nineteen ninety, uh, uh, early early nineties, uh, mid nineties, um, on from from USA fights. Yeah. Uh, uh, David, um, David Reed, I think his name was. He had an eye injury. Yep. Yep. Uh, him. Old Mellis. Yep. Him. I mean, it's all those guys, and and you. You know, because like, because you know, I, 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 I used to, I used to mimic you doing this. You know, yeah. the, the flicking, you know, flicking my wrist. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and then my, my question is, we were talking about the, the dope in boxing earlier, and we talking, you brought up, uh, 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 Fury was brought up. Do you think if Fury wasn't quote unquote on the dope, because you said you wouldn't, you wouldn't say it if you, no particular person was on it, would he have beat Wilder? And I'll take the I'll take the answer to that in the chat. Peace, uh, peace, chat. Good luck, uh, good luck on your comeback. Oh, we Thank got you. a surprise for you next, champ. We got a surprise for Thanks you, champ. 